Welcome to Slamfire. Today we're talking about self-healing targets. Now I have three of them here in front of me. Uh, the single prairie dog that's weighted, the double prairie dog that are just hanging there, and uh, the hot box. Now these are all made by Do All Outdoors. And um, they're all made out of polymer. And how these things work is that a bullet will pass straight through them, keep on going, and uh, these guys will react in some way like this one you know will swing and if you're lucky enough it'll spin all the way around and these ones you know move and then this one is supposed to bounce around so they all kind of do different things which is great you can shoot at any of these uh, with anything from a 22 uh, up to a 50 BMG so you know there's a big range there and they do better with um, the higher calibers because you know it, it impacts more uh, just know that the higher the caliber you shoot at them with quicker that they're going to get torn up. They won't last forever. Most of these will last you about a thousand rounds, maybe more, just uh, depending on what you're shooting with. You know, I generally shoot at these with, you know, 22s or even, you know, 223 or 556. So they do pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, if you look at this one particularly, you can see uh, the holes in them. There's some smaller ones and some bigger ones. This kind of leads me to uh, the point of you want to use solid tip ammo, whether that's a FMJ, you know, which is full metal jacket, or um, you know, just standard ammunition. You don't want to use hollow points because that will tear these up a lot faster. These bigger holes here are made by um, 22 hollow points, and uh, on the back you can also kind of see just the effect that, that had on it. So use solid tip ammo, and it'll stick around a lot longer. And then you have these guys, and you can see we kind of shot them up too. So, you know, they're, they're, it's not something that'll just keep on, you know, lasting, lasting. Eventually, you will have to replace them. Uh, this is the hot box right here. What this is supposed to do is you shoot it, and it bounces around, and, you know, moves. And, you know, honestly, I've not had too much luck with that. But then again, I've been shooting at it with a 5.56 and a 22s. So, you know, I mean, it was really not too much uh, impact, you know, mass impact there. So, you know, I mean, I, if I shot at it with a 9mm, it might do more, but, you know, I mean, and Dual Outdoors has different targets, like a ball and um, a top hat style target, and those will probably jump around more. This is kind of just what we have and what we shoot at. And uh, as you can see right here, these are made to go into the ground, you know, soft dirt or something like that. We uh, generally shoot at rock quarries and uh, we don't have the opportunity to put them in the ground because they won't stand. So we have these boards that we just drilled two holes in and they just fit in there nicely. And uh, they're, they're also reliable, they're pretty sturdy. Like uh, this one, I actually shot the weight off and you can see the dent here where I shot it with a um, 223 and it still works and I even shot the frame here. And on this one, I also shot the frame, and it's still together. It still works just fine, nice and sturdy. All right, let's go shoot them. All right, so we have our self-healing targets over here. Uh, we're going to take some shots at them with the 22 and see how they do. And then we'll move up to the uh, AR, shoot them with some 5.56. All right, let's do this. All right, going for the orange one first, the orange fairy dog. All right, let's move over to the red fairy dogs. Now let's try the, the orange hot box. All 
All right. So uh, the orange prairie dog did pretty good. I like that. It, uh, it moved a lot. It even spun around. The red ones were okay. Um, they didn't swing too much. So if I was, you know, pretty far away, I don't know if I could be able to tell very well if I hit them. Uh, the hot box again, it did all right. You know, it flipped over a few times, but not as much as uh, as I'd pro probably like. You know, if you're at closer distance, then it's probably better. And remember, this is only 22. So it's not gonna have as much stopping power anyways. So uh, yeah, they did pretty good for uh, just 22. Let's go get the AR. All right, now let's try the AR. I'm gonna go for the orange prairie dog first. Firing. the red ones. Alright, let's try the hot box. So as you could see, um, you know, they weren't moving as much as they were with the 22. Uh, my guess is that's because just, you know, the 223 is uh, it's such a high velocity round, it just goes straight through it. And yeah, so I mean, if you had something that's um, bigger caliber, like uh, a 30 caliber, or you know, something like that, like an AK, then uh, that might do better, you know, even pistol rounds. But 5.56, five, you know, you're not going to see much movement from it. But, you know, they're still good targets, and, um, you know, they're good for a lot of things. 22s, they work great. Pistol calibers, like I said, work great. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. See you next time.